Looking forward to the film? Yeah, I'm really, really excited. It should be amazing. What do you think is so special about the chemistry that particularly Joe and Casper seem to have together on the road? They're both weird. They're both very, very weird. And that combination just works so well. That combination just works so well. Uh, but I mean, they have great chemistry. They're such good friends. And I mean, all, all of our group, we're such great mates. And I think just making videos together, it just really shows our true friendship. And I think that's what's so special about it. They are really true mates. And I think that just works so well on camera. Obviously, having torn their way across Europe, how do you think America's going to survive Joe and Casper? I don't know. I'm very much looking forward to seeing what they've been up to. But yeah, they probably got up to a lot of trouble. <laughs> You know, I've got, there's a lot of projects I'm working on at the moment. Uh, most of the things, unfortunately, I would love to talk about, but I can't. Um, but yeah, just like working on, you know, continuous videos, just making them bigger, better, and just like trying to just do more and more and just make entertaining good stuff at the end of the day. Talking about the stuff you have done, obviously fans have their favorite videos. Is there one or a particular bunch of videos that you're most proud of looking back? Um, I mean... I never like to pick individual things because I'm proud of lots of things together and I, I, I don't really like to have favourites of things because I think there's too many too many favourites of everything. But um, I love the stuff I film with my brother. Uh, we do series like Brothers Do Science and it's always nice to do that. But also as well, like the videos I do with the boys, it's always just so nice because it is purely just us hanging out, having a laugh, having a good time and it just works and we just enjoy it. It's just fun. See, tonight's a celebration of Joe and Casper, but also of YouTube as a platform. What do you think the future of the platform is? Because it's changed so much, just particularly in the last few years. It's really hard to kind of predict where YouTube is going to go. Because, I mean, you know, when I first started four years ago, I had no idea that it would have been, like come to this today, like being on a red carpet from two of my best friends. Like, it's absolutely insane. So, you know, hopefully it just builds up and builds up and we get more recognized and you know just YouTube as a platform just grows and the community becomes stronger and stronger and we just keep creating bigger and better better things you know I think you've got to do it because you love it YouTube is such a it, it's such a different thing from what it used to be when I first started like you couldn't earn money you couldn't really work with brands you couldn't have the incredible opportunities that there are today and I think you know only really get into it if you truly love it because it does take up a lot of time. Some people, you know, they kind of think that, oh, you just post a video here and there, but it's a lot of work and there's a lot of things that go behind the scenes. And I think you've really got to be dedicated and you've really got to love it as a passion to succeed and actually see something from it. What are you watching at the moment? What are you most into on YouTube when you're not making content? You know what? I re I'm really enjoying vlogs at the moment. I find vlogs just so incredible of people's daily lives. And Roman Atwood, I think he's just incredible. And he just, he's so, he's just so good. He's a, he has an incredible family. And I think just all together, like the content he creates is just so natural and just for everyone, really. Obviously, there's some pranks in this film, and there's been a bit of a debate over the last 12 months about prank videos on YouTube and whether or not there are certain lines that should or shouldn't be crossed. How do you feel about that and how the, how the sort of platform's handling that? Well, I haven't seen the pranks in this film, so I have no idea. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, there's been lots of discussions about things like that, but, you know, I think if you're going to entertain someone, then, you know, it's entertaining content. And yeah, I mean, I can't really speak for the film because I haven't watched it yet. But I'm excited to. <laughs> a lot of screaming fans here tonight. Obviously, you've got your own fan base. What does that support mean to you? And you've got a message for them before you leave us. Oh, you know, um, it's absolutely incredible. Like, mind-blowing. Um, every, you know, day, I just kind of, like, pinch myself in a way and just be like, I don't really understand why there are these people following me in a way. Because, I mean, I originally started out to just to want someone's opinion on, on what I was doing and whether they liked it or not and to kind of be in the position where there are lots of people following me and supporting me, it's incredible and I, I, I love it so much and I just want to keep posting better things for those people to enjoy. I am looking forward to the film. You know, I feel like it's going to be, it's going to be a lot of, I think a lot of wild stuff is going to go down in this film. Um, I'm intrigued to see what they actually got up to because uh, it did sound pretty weird, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what do you think makes Casper and Joe so special, particularly the chemistry between them? 
I think it is. I think, you know, it's their friendship, the way they bounce off of each other, the way they're very likeable, you know, they're very relatable as well. You know, they don't, they don't act like they're superstars. They act like they're normal guys who actually are superstars. So, um, yeah, I think uh, it's, you know, it's, it's, the it's the relatable factor that they have, I think, definitely. You talk about, I mean, they're humble guys, but they really are superstars now. Um, how important do you think nights are like tonight to show just how far YouTube as a platform has come? I think it's very important. I think it's actually amazing to see how far YouTube has come and kind of the platform it offers to, to young people that, you know, want to be creative and want to and do something, um, you know, to entertain people. I think, um, yeah, it's, it's very, very important. And you can see how many people, how many people um, turn up for it. So, yeah, it's really cool. I think obviously all of my original stuff that was up there is definitely stuff I'm, I'm most proud of. Obviously the covers, I really enjoy doing them, but obviously releasing uh, original material is, is very nerve-wracking kind of thing. You never know what people are going to think, so I do love um, uploading original stuff, so yeah. What are you working on at the moment? I'm working on a new album. I'm, st I'm, I'm still working on that album, but uh, it's, it's, it's getting there. It's almost there. Yeah. What can fans expect from that? Just, just generally the tone sort of over. The good thing about the covers is that I kind of get, I allow people to have a glimpse into what the album is going to sound like. So I try and, you know, the 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 the, the covers that I do are yeah, kind of a I guess a, a preview almost of, of what the what the uh, the album will eventually sound like. So yeah. You've been working on the album for a while. Why has it been taking so long? Oh my goodness! It's just it's it's the, the music industry is, is is difficult. You know, a lot of things happen. A lot of. Um, yeah, and also, you know, a lot of things happen in my personal life that I kind of had to get through to kind of get to this album. So, yeah, I think, um, I think I'm think i now ready, though. So, it's happening, it's happening. I mean, do you think YouTube, you talk about the changes in the industry, do you think YouTube's had a big impact on particularly music, I guess? A hundred percent. I think the music industry has completely changed. Like, it's all about what you've got going on online, like, your online presence is all about that now. So, uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it's crazy. Are there any live performances dates coming up for you? Um, not as of yet, not that I know of, um, but there will be. I know that I'm in talks with a lot of people about a lot of live shows, so it should be a lot of fun. Obviously, um, this film follows Joe and Casper on an amazing and slightly epic road trip. Have you ever, ever had any road trip experiences yourself? Road trip experiences? Yeah, well, I once went on a road trip from, from L.A. to Vegas, and that was interesting. Although the road, the road trip back from Vegas to L.A. was horrendous. It was like the worst day of my life. It took like seven hours to get back because we left on the 4th of July, so traffic was mad. And, um, but we were listening to all types of music on the way there, you know, went from Jay-Z to Nickelback to Enrique Iglesias' hero, you know, we went for it, so yeah. Talking about America, obviously it's been a pretty dramatic time over there lately. What do you make of our new president-elect, Mr. Trump? I, I mean, yeah, I woke up and saw that Trump had won. I was very surprised. But, you know, I think, I think you know, I, I think just from the aftermath, it sounds like he's kind of stepped back a little bit from the kind of really... The more, I don't know, the more severe changes that he seemed to be putting forward. I think that's kind of, I don't know, I don't know. I just, I, I don't, I, I think the, the, the main feel that everyone's getting from it now is that really is, he wouldn't be able to do anything that's kind of severely bad. And I, and I don't know, I think that, um, I, you know, I think I can't see many things changing, to be honest. I feel like, I feel like the world is moving forward regardless of anything. So, yeah. On a happier note, obviously there's a lot of screaming fans here tonight. You've got a really devoted fan base. What does that mean for you? And you've had, have you had particular experiences of that that really have meant a lot to you? Um, you know, I think that I think my fan base are like one of the most important things that I have, you know, kind of doing doing what I do. So, uh, you know, I care for them a lot. I always try and you know please them in whatever I do. And um, yeah, it's up to me. You got a message to those fans before you leave us tonight? Maniacs, if you're watching this, I love you all. I'll see you very soon. Are you looking forward to the film? Oh, sorry, oh, it's going to be so, so good. Yeah, really, really excited. It's going to be amazing. We loved the last one. Yeah. So we were literally in floods of tears because it was just hilarious. So, oh, yeah, Karen was laughing not because it was emotional, but yeah, very excited. What makes Casper and Joe so great to watch? What makes them so fun to watch? They just, they're just lovely guys. Yeah, and they just work so well together and kind of like bounce off each other as well. They could be brothers, yeah. really. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think just because they work so well together and bounce off each other. And they're so funny, so. Yeah. I think what they did in the last film. I remember Joe did a lot of the driving. Oh um, yeah. I found those bits really funny how they were like kind of arguing over that who would was be driving. Us. Because I can't drive, so yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure anyone would be able to drive, but you guys aren't checking out wonderful films like this. What have you got coming up at the moment yourselves? Lots of filming videos yeah. um, and working with amazing brands. We've done yeah. lots of work with Disney this year, yeah, which has been, which has been so amazing, good. like a dream come true. Um, we just and got yeah. Tahiti, which was incredible with Disney. Yeah, from so, yeah, so um, amazing. Yeah. What are you guys up to out in Tahiti then? We 
there were exploring the island and like seeing all about the film, but it was just, it was like a dream world. It wasn't was like it? a different world. I'd never been anywhere like that before where it was like so different. It was like paradise, so it's amazing. Disney's magic. Um, everyone has their favourite Disney film. What's yours and why? Oh, I can't can I pick High School Musical? I know it's not like typical Disney, but I mean, I really want to make a musical. Like, no one else would want to do it apart from us. But yeah, I think High School Musical. I would say. Pick a classic. Oh, I really like Tangled, but that's not really a classic, is it? Or Aladdin. I love Aladdin, yeah. Tonight's a wonderful celebration, not just of uh, these guys, but the success of YouTube as a platform. What do you think the future is, particularly for some of our best and brightest YouTubers? It's such an amazing future. Yeah. I think we all feel so lucky that we get like, to do something that we love. Yeah, as a job, which and, is amazing. I like it for these events as well, like everyone comes together, because you don't see people all the time, so yeah, it's nice to have like, a massive really catch-up, nice. but everyone is just so down to earth and, yeah, amazing. I love it. <laughs> You're not making great content for YouTube yourself. What? Uh, who do you watch at the moment? Is there anything you? Oh, I watch a lot of covers. Um, so a lot of singers. I watch Connor. Um, and a lot of Joan Casper. Hi. <laughs> um, we're just talking about you. Um, and yeah, mostly singers at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. I would say for a long time we we kind of held like put put, it, put off doing YouTube because we were like oh like oh we won't do it no one watch us but it was the best thing that we that we ever did so I'm really glad like we started doing do things that you're really passionate about because someone else will like what you're passionate about as well so I'd say do things that you really enjoy try not to like copy what everyone else is doing but try and stand out yeah what do you think's unique about what you guys do. Twins that helps. Yeah, but also you're very funny. So and I kind of just laugh at everything that you do. <laughs> so it makes me seem funnier. Yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, but it's it's good like to do it together. Yeah. So. That's the best do like a lot of get the look videos. And so I'd probably say we did an Ariana Grande one. That was my favourite actually. Yeah. Um, where we like recreate the music video. So definitely say they're our favourite. Did harmony one. Yeah. Um. But I feel most proud of them because we love editing and love like putting videos together and, and they take a long time to film. They take like all day, so and we film them ourselves as well. So we feel like we film and edit them all ourselves. So we feel like really proud. Yeah. See, they all turned out great. Has there ever been a disaster? Have you ever had one that went a bit wrong? Not well. It didn't go wrong in the end, but we filmed one and it was we filmed at Tower Bridge. And there was a storm. But we decided to film anyway. And we had a light like that and it smashed on the floor. We got told off by security that we weren't allowed to film in a certain place. Um, but in the end, it worked out okay. And it was pouring rain, but you'd never know. We made it look like it was sunny. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the support. Bye. Bye thank, thank you. you. Like the, the viewers, the people that supported it, they supported it so much and uh, it's made, give us the opportunity to do another one. And we're like, let's do it. Let's ride, ride the wave, you know? It's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, what he said. That was an amazing answer, Joe. We just sort of went with it. Uh, what do you think? Like, yeah, no, I was really happy with uh, the scale of this one. Um, the first one, obviously, was the first time we've ever done something long form together. Um, and the BBC took a chance with us and it went really well, so they, this time they were like, okay, let's, let's do it even bigger. And uh, we're very, very lucky to be able to have done it. We went to NASA, we were lifeguards, we, we did a whole lot of things. What was your favourite? My, my favourite was um, NASA because uh, it's like every childhood, every, every like, childhood dream when you're younger to be like an astronaut. And I definitely want to be in anywhere, and I was like, that's like the perfect, like, perfect job to do. We got to do like, we got to do stuff that the general public don't get to do either. So it's like we got to drive like moon buggies and stuff, and that was that's pretty cool. My favorite challenge was definitely, I think, being a cheerleader. That was cool. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, that was good fun. That was embarrassing, but good fun. Uh, it, there weren't really jobs; they were challenges. So yeah, um, I kind of, I think. Uh, the whole lifeguard thing would be cool, but the thing is, I'm not a great swimmer. But just like to say that you're a lifeguard, I think it's quite, quite, quite yeah, cool. Yeah, it would be really cool yeah. to be a lifeguard. Yeah. Uh, when we did our like a live tour, the the video clips from that got a good reaction. Like the, the people in the crowd loved those clips, but um, when we're actually on the beach, not a lot. Some people would be horrified. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, most embarrassing moment was. Um, I farted whilst we were uh, doing a life, um, a cheerleading routine, and obviously they're very attractive girls. I was trying to be cool and uh, I let one rip. Really embarrassing. What do you said? 
Amer America is just so big. I mean, the USA is like, like <laughs> so, yes. I guess Europe's, Europe's big too, but not as big. And uh, for one single country to have so many different types of culture, it's interesting. Yes, yeah, it's great. And uh, I think as well, like the, the people there as well in America, they they just they love a camera. Like someone gets a camera, like oh my god, this is my moment, and they they really go for it. So their characters are really good as well. We have to hit the road again if this uh, if this does well. So we'll see. Yeah. It's really exciting. Yeah, it was good fun. It's, it's good fun. We basically just got go on like a, a big holiday to different countries and like a road trip and film it. It's so much fun. I feel like a reporter. Yeah, <laughs> it's my goal. Back to you, John. <laughs> Sorry, we got bad weather in the. It's really cold. <laughs> Sorry, that was bad. That was a terrible impression. <laughs> so much fun being able to make this this uh, type of uh, like film together. So yeah, having having a really good time.